Hillary's sick slave secret out after someone noticed what black men were doing at her house, Hillary Clinton has spent her entire political career swimming in a cesspool of corruption. She frequently kills off anyone close to exposing the truth about her evil antics, while using the money of terrorists and evil billionaires to fund her diabolical plans and to gain her political power. Well now a sickening story is emerging about what Hillary forced black people to do at her mansion that is so outrageous, you'll actually think you're reading a story from the National Enquirer. Liberals love to throw around the R word when trying to bash Republicans. How many times during the debates did we have to hear Hillary try to paint Donald Trump as a racist bigot? Well guess who just got busted for using black slaves to work at her multi-million dollar estate? reminiscent of the time that America's founding fathers had slaves, which liberals are always quick to demonize our country over. In an excerpt from her book It Takes a Village, Hillary reveals that as a way to keep down costs at her Arkansas mansion back when Dirty Bill was the governor, she and Bill forced black men who were serving time in prison to work the grounds without compensation. The following excerpt was posted to Twitter by an apparent Black Lives Matter and Bernie Sanders supporter, where many people, Liberals alike, were completely outraged over the revelation of Hillary Clinton the slave driver slash plantation owner. Here's parts of the excerpt, when we moved in, I was told that using prison labor at the governor's mansion was a long-standing tradition, which kept down costs, and I was assured that the inmates were carefully screened. I was also told the one-time murders were far the preferred security risks. The crimes of the convicted murderers who worked at the governor's mansion usually involved a disagreement with someone they knew, often another young man in the neighborhood. I saw and learned a lot as I got to know them better. We enforced rules strictly and sent back to prison any inmate who broke a rule. I discovered as I had been told I would, that we had far fewer disciplinary problems with inmates who were in for murder than with those who had committed property crimes. In fact, over the years we lived there, we became friendly with a few of them, African-American men in their 30s who had already served 12 to 18 years of their sentences. Even liberal rag Newsweek couldn't help but notice the outrage that ensued, Twitter users have reacted with surprise and fury over excerpts from Hillary Clinton's 1996 book It Takes a Village. On June 6, Jeanette Jing, an activist with over 33,000 followers on Twitter who supports Clinton's Democratic opponent Senator Bernie Sanders, shared two pages of the work in which Clinton reminisces about the black prisoners who worked in the Arkansas governor's mansion she shared with her husband, Bill Clinton, who led the state from 1979 to 1981 and 1983 to 1992. When we moved in, I was told that using prison labor at the governor's mansion was a long-standing tradition, which kept down costs, Clinton writes. She adds that most of the workers were convicted murderers and she became friendly with a few of them, African-American men in their 30s who had already served 12 to 18 years of their sentences. Visiting criminals in jail was not the same as encountering a convicted murderer in the kitchen every morning, she went on to explain. Hillary Clinton kept black slaves to work at her Arkansas mansion doesn't look like a headline that will be garnering the support of the black community anytime soon. With rumors swirling that Hillary is making a move for the White House again in the year 2020, it will be fun to watch her chances go down in flames as I'm sure this little factoid will have black Democrats up in arms. Hillary has tried desperately for years to gain the support of blacks, where she did numerous rallies across America at black churches during the presidential election. She's been infamous for putting on her best Ebonix dialect for years. Here's one of her most famous speeches from back in 2010 where she spent her entire speech trying to sound like a black southerner. What a freaking joke this woman is. She is the epitome of a racist for forcing black slave labor on her plantation. Share this story to expose how Hillary Clinton is a racist. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.